Dream Arcade, Dreamcade Replay. If you got one, it came pre-installed with a few games, but most of you want to load up all your favorite ROMs. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an external storage, whether it be a micro SD, USB hard drive, or a hard drive bay, and then how to actually add your ROMs to the Dream Arcade software. It's very simple to do. Also, it does come pre-installed with Dreamcast and PSP, and we'll add some of those. All right, just added a micro SD. Let's go ahead and format it. XFAT is fine. All right, and we know it's our F drive because it says it up here. So go back into Dream Arcades, and then we just go down to change the download folder. I believe that's in setting. So if you're running out of space, there you go, F. You see I have 59 gigabytes free. And now my F drive is the current download. So when I go back, now when I go to the, go back again and I add new games, I can download a ton more Nintendo 64 games, a ton more games and not have to worry about ruining my uh, hard drive space, um, you know, or overloading the hard drive. So you just go download something like Super Mario RPG, click the, the download, and it should start momentarily. There you go, downloading files. And you wanna wait here for just a second as that finishes, depending on what emulator is for. Nintendo 64, you wanna wait a little longer than, for example, Arcade. So that's pretty much how simple it is. If you are gonna transfer ROMs from an external source though, let's go ahead and try that out. So you should be able to see my Super Mario RPG, there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and escape, exit to Windows. I'm just going to go to Windows Explorer here, Windows key E, and you can see my F drive. And basically, it's already populated my ROMs folder for me. So anytime you, you insert a new, whether it's a USB hard drive, a thumb drive, a micro US, a SD, um, you're using the hard drive bay. You know, this is fairly basic stuff for Windows users that you have your device and then you have your external drives and drives here. And as I mentioned, once you go in that Dreamcade the Dream Arcade software and you change the download location, it should auto populate with the correct folder structure. So now open up a hard drive here and then I'm gonna open up another file explorer. So I'm just gonna snap these into, into place here. So on the left side, I'm gonna have my, my external hard drive, which has my ROMs on it. I have a bunch of ROMs in here. And then on this side, I'm gonna be putting it on my 64 gigabyte that I just put in here, right? I'm gonna, I just right clicked it. So I have 59.4 gigabytes because the stock device, as you see, I only have eight gigabytes free. You're probably gonna want some sort of external storage. I could literally run the ROMs directly off this D drive if I wanted, or I could go ahead and just drag them onto here. So that's what I'm gonna do is I have my micro SD on the right. I have my hard drive with all my ROMs on the left. So for example, if I wanted all the Super Nintendo games, I just go down here to SNES and then there should be an SNES here, yes. And then I would just go ahead and copy all these, Control C, Control V. And now I'm transferring these from my external drive to my micro SD. Now, so now we're done, and then you just go back into the Dream Arcades. You don't have to do anything else. And you should notice when we go to SNES now in the Dream Arcades menu, we should have over 700 Super Nintendo titles. All right, and so here we are back in, and now our SNES folder should be quite large. Let's go in there. Boom. So, you might be wondering why are some fonts smaller? Well, they're a little smaller to fit into the, um, to fit into the little, what would you call that? A rounded rectangle? To fit into the rounded rectangle over there. So, for example, T2, the arcade game. Boom. All right, then let's go to PSP. We can do Mortal Kombat Unchained. I do that a lot on this channel.
So PSP 3X is a little laggy on full screen, but if you go small like this, you get it. So you go probably up to 4 or 5X. As you'll see if you just do windowed mode, I do it on 3X after this, and it runs great as well. So you can really mess with the PSP emulator quite a bit to get some really good performance out of this. You just got to mess with the, uh, the windowed mode and the resolution you're running on. So there you have it, the Dreamcade replay, how to add ROMs, get Dreamcast working, PSP working. Um, out of the box, so far so good. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.